iPhones allow you to set different frame rates for video. The frame rate of a video is the number of still frames per second of video. The newer iPhones allow three main frame rates, 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. There's also the option to shoot 25 frames per second, but you'll need to change a setting to access that. Open camera settings and then record video settings. Now you will see the options. One thing to note is that 24 frames per second is only available at 4K resolution. And if you shoot at 720p resolution, you can only choose 30 frames per second. So which one should you choose? 24 frames per second is the standard frame rate for movies and TV series. 30 frames per second is usually for factual TV, like news or sports. And 60 frames per second is mostly used for slow motion. When we choose a frame rate to shoot video, we need to consider the frame rate that we're going to play back the final video. And for that purpose, 24, 30 and 60 frames per second all fit mathematically. And I usually choose to set my editing timelines to play back at 24 frames per second. And this means I can use all three frame rates, as I often use 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second on a 24 frames per second timeline but then I slow them down to 24 frames per second. For example, in LumaFusion, set your 30 frames per second video to 80% speed and 60 frames per second video to 40% speed. And of course, you can shoot at 30 frames per second and play back at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and play back at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. So if you play back 60 frames per second video at 60 frames per second, it looks very smooth and kind of digital, almost like a video game. To get 25 frames per second, you need to toggle on Show PAL formats. And you now get the 25 frames per second option in 1080p and 4K resolution. 25 frames per second is a European TV frame rate. And the reason to use it is that it removes flickering or strobing from certain electric lights. So if you're filming in a country which has 50 hertz electricity, then you might want to switch to 25 frames per second. Now, personally, even though I live in Europe, I avoid shooting at 25 frames per second because it doesn't match too well mathematically with 30 and 60 frames per second. Well, I hope I showed you how to see iPhone frame rates as less of a muddle, more like a fun puzzle.